Hey guys, Spartan here, and I'm here for a little short video about how to kill Hondoon easier, because apparently a lot of people still have trouble with this boss, so this is just a very short guide about how uh, I deal with Hondoon, and this is a very effective way to take care of him. Pretty much all you'll need to execute this is spike shoes, which always spawn on the snow level, as in Yeti Queen drops them, so it's pretty easy to get. You don't even really need them, it just makes this a lot easier. And you need some mobility item, I'm using Vlad's cape because it always spawns, so it's a lot easier to get than a jetpack, although jetpack does make this astronomically easier just because it's better mobility for this sort of thing. So when you start this you're going to want to make a beeline to the top of the stage and not bother dealing with the heads when they spawn. So one thing you need to take note of here is that you're going to be using this uh, partition that you'll see right here. What this partition does is, it's basically going to act as a blocker between the two heads of Hundoon. So, what you're going to want to do is just to be sure, you probably want to get rid of any of the poison traps in case they somehow screw you over. But yeah, you want to position yourself at around here, so that the heads are one on each side. Because Hundoon has two stages to its AI, the chase AI, which is basically just walking around while you climb the level, and the actual fighting AI. At this stage, Hundoon is still using its chasing AI. This basically means that if you attack one head, it's not going to counterattack as it's expecting the other one to do all the work, since you're not fighting it. So you can repeatedly attack one of the heads with absolutely no repercussion. And this little partition here is going to save you from all the fireballs that one of the heads launches. So you set up, you get them so that the egg is just below the partition, and you can stop one of the heads to death really easily. Now, considering that Hundoon is still in the chasing form, as in, it hasn't risen up enough for it to begin the actual fighting stage, you can notice as it hasn't sprouted wings yet, you can simply curb stomp the other head to death. And, uh, yeah, that is an incredibly easy way to kill Hundoon very consistently. The only downside is, if there is water underneath, you will need to get rid of that water first, otherwise it will screw you up and you will die, most likely. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, uh... Hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If it gets enough attention, I may do more tips about other optimizations I've made for the game. So, yep, hope you enjoyed. See ya.